Welcome back to the Tahoe Outdoor Show. We've taken it from Folsom at Sports LTD to right here in beautiful Lake Tahoe. We're at the Thunderbird Lodge and the yacht is back on the water and in operations. I've got Shireen here to tell us a little bit of history about the lodge first. Start with who owned it and give us that base knowledge. Well, the Thunderbird was built by George Wittell Jr., who was a Bay Area eccentric who uh, was born into, fell down the right chimney. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Um, his, his parents were in finance, both very wealthy, and he had a lot of uh, odds and ends jobs all over Europe and in the U.S. Uh, he was educated in Europe, came back here and decided somehow got the inside scoop on uh, and talked his father into cashing out before the Great Depression. So they were unharmed mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. through the Great Depression. And then ultimately here in Lake Tahoe, we ended up buying 27 miles of shoreline. This is some of the most pristine here, right? Yeah, not at today's real estate prices either. Right. Yeah. It was about $3 a square foot off the water off and then the water, $6, six a on square the water. foot. Wow, yeah. okay, so double for the waterfront here. And then he built this beautiful estate. Talk about some of the facts here around the Thunderbird Lodge. Well, this was his winter estate. He, he lived in Woodside. This was his winter estate, and he was a, a recluse in his, in his later years. Um, the house is quite small for, for, for you know, the gravity of it. The underneath, we've got tunnels, we've got a lion's uh, den for his pet lion, Bill. And he had animals here and had all kinds of guests. Uh, loved his his wine women and gambling oh yeah so absolutely. he was he was a piece of work but he was also very uh, technologically savvy and mm -hmm. was always wanting to know what the what the the next edge was right in, in pro progress and technology and then who took it over after George Wattell jr. so when George Wattell died in 1969 um, Dreyfus from Dreyfus Funds bought okay. it and added on an entirely new addition. Okay. And I've been told that um, the way the permitting process went, he couldn't he couldn't continue this style of house, so he right. built a different style. Okay. Of house. So you got to so, get out here yeah. and check it out for yourself, it's, it's and you amazing. can do that with yeah. some of the public events that you guys have. Talk about those, like winemaker dinners, tours. Give us the full rundown. We do in the summer uh, four tours uh, a day. Uh, for five days a week. We do a garden tour, we do a wine and cheese tour, um, and then we do private tours for corporate mm -hmm. corporations and families that just want to have their own uh, private docent and, and go through and we uh, greet them with champagne yeah. and cheese and we've got a chef on, on standby here and he's an amazing chef. So uh, we've got wine dinners, uh, four wine dinners that are open to the public this year for the first time. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Thunder Fair, which um, we're going to do 12 local chefs and 12 um, exclusive Napa wineries. And that's right at the peak of the season during August, August right? Thir uh, August 13th. Yes. Okay, and that's Thunder Fair August 13th. That's right. You gotta come check it out. It's open to the public. You yeah. said 12 wineries, 12 different uh, food vendors out here? All over the property. It's gonna oh, be like nice. the gourmet extravaganza. Yeah. What's your favorite part of the property? Oh my gosh. Um, I love the gazebo. Uh -huh. um, and I love right the terrace in us. the old lodge. Yep. And the card house is, is pretty spectacular to do <laughs> poker games there. So, All right. Yeah. Well, the Thunderbird Yacht is back on the water, and we're going to take it out for a spin here in just a little bit. After this break, we're right here with Captain Brad Carter talking about the Thunderbird Yacht. Stick with us on the Tahoe Outdoor Show. 